Okay, this how-to video is gonna look at some of the settings that are available inside the, the 3D Canvas, which is part of the Cadence PCB tools. So we'll start off by launching the 3D Canvas, which we can do from this icon here that looks like a little 3D board, or we can also get this from the Display 3D Canvas menu. Um, the filter comes up so we can choose which options we want to send from effectively the 2D window into the 3D Canvas. Um, on larger designs, you might want to restrict what options go through. In this, um, it shouldn't take too long to load, so I'm just gonna accept the defaults. So when the 3D Canvas appears, obviously you get the representation of your board with all the step models showing for the components. I've got a couple of covers. I've got a top cover and a bottom cover. And I've actually got the, the mechanical symbol set to be a little bit uh, transparent, which is available under setup and preferences. Symbol representation, there's a, me a mechanical symbol transparency that you can adjust to, to suit. Once we have that, uh, let's just bend. So I've got some, uh, some flexes here that I want to show the bend radiuses on. So we'll just go into the bend mode, that's fine. So what I want to show you is effectively, if I was to select something like um, this connector, obviously from a highlight point of view, I can have it set up in such a way of whether I show all the other objects or vanish all the other objects. So if we look at setup and preferences again, there's a highlighting uh, command. So I've got effectively the select, which would show me the objects. There's a vanish, which would turn all the other objects off. Or there's a dim, which would effectively dim all the other objects based on a, a predetermined setting. So you can see the dim intensity is set to 100%. My cover, my board, everything else. So you can obviously adjust this value to suit and you would get um, a little bit more of your board. So you, could, so you can kind of play about with this value to kind of suit whatever you need. Let's leave it back on uh, select mode for now. Sorry, vanish mode, let's go to vanish mode. So we're just looking at the connector. Okay, so we can also, there's now a net pane that's available to us that's gonna show us all of the nets. We can be very object specific, so we can pick buses, differential pairs, match groups. So let's pick a match group. Um, there's a list of my match groups in this design, so I'm gonna pick uh, the DDR DQ match group, and then I'm just gonna shift select all of the, mem the object members, and I can zoom in, and I'm then gonna see effectively the pads, the tracks, the wires on all the different layers going through my design. So it can be quite informative looking at this. Maybe I might want to look at potentially back drilling some of these. You know, you can see where the connections are coming to and from. So that's quite a useful feature. Let's just go back to all nets. Um, we can look at maybe some power. So if we were to go to so maybe the naught volts, you can see there's my naught volt planes on the different layers going through. Let's look at maybe a 1B8. Again, you're seeing the copper planes, um, the splits, the, the, the void keep out areas and all the vias etc that you're looking at. Let's just go back to all nets again. If we just scroll out. What we can do is obviously select specific objects still with the select mode so if I wanted to be a bit more informative about this flexi bend I could select the flexi bend and just zoom in and examine the flexi bend. Let's just clear the selection. A bit more detailed in this flexi bend here, so I can then just select the objects. And with having this select objects or this vanish object selected um, under the display settings, it allows you to kind of just um, be a bit more specific about when you're examining the objects, uh, which is what you need in the 3D object. 